for Miss Jill tonight. And the reason that we are late is because I had a Bible study um, with some women. And we were just a little tiny bit late. But I am filling in for my mama, Miss Jill. And I am going to tell you guys, get this. Um, a story from the book of Genesis and what I'm gonna do is I am going to start at the beginning and I'm going to hit the highlights all the way through the entire book because it's connected and I want to show you guys how that works so let's get started in the very 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 beginning of the world God created time space and matter he spoke it into existence he said, let there be light, and there was light. He said, let there be sea, let there be animals, and land, and fish, and a moon, and stars, and the sun, and planets. Not in that order, but he did have all of those things, and he spoke them into existence, and they became. And then he spoke, he took uh, some dust, and he blew on it, and it turned into a man, and his name was Adam. And then Adam job was to name all the animals of the world and then to tend to the earth and God said it's not good for him to be alone so I'm gonna make him a wife and so he performed the first surgery and put Adam to sleep and he took out his rib one of his ribs and created Eve and blew, blew into her and she became a person and then Adam and Eve lived great life everything was good and then they did something that god told them not to do he said you can eat from anywhere in this entire garden except for the tree of knowledge of good and evil and they did it anyway and god said now you're gonna have to face the consequences because you have sinned against me but the good thing is later on he sent jesus so that way our sins could be forgiven and then Adam and Eve had two sons named Cain and Abel. And God accepted Abel's gift, but he didn't accept Cain's offerings. And that upset Cain. So much so that Cain actually killed his brother, Abel. And then Cain was tossed out into the wilderness and lived another life out there. And Adam and Eve had another son named Seth. And we're just going to skip a couple of generations and then we come to the story of Noah. And I'm sure you guys know about Noah and the ark. And Noah had three sons and then put their three wives and his wife on the boat with him. And then we'll skip a couple more stories. And let's just go ahead and jump into Abraham. Abraham was promised by God that he would be the father of many nations. That means that all sorts of people would be born from the lineage of Abraham. And Abraham was very, very special to God. And God was very special to Abraham. And Abraham had a son named Isaac. And Isaac had a son, two sons, named Jacob and Esau. They were twins. And you guys have to read these stories because they are so, so good. And then Jacob and Esau kind of got into a little bit of a tiff. You know, brothers sometimes fight. And they went their separate ways. And then they actually made up. And Jacob had tons of kids, right? He had 12 sons. And this is where we get the 12 tribes of Israel because Jacob when he repented and he focused on God God changed his name to Israel and now the country is named after him and his 12 sons one of them was named Joseph and you guys might remember the story of Joseph and the coat of many collars but there's actually someone else that sometimes we forget about in Genesis and that is Jacob's son Judah and Judah has a very unique and crazy story. But the reason Judah is so important to God, because it's Judah's great, 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 maybe a couple more great grandchildren who had Jesus. And it's all connected through the entire Old Testament 
into the story of Jesus. And Jesus is God in flesh. And he came to the earth to die for our sins so that we could live with him forever and ever. And the only thing that you have to do to be a Christian is ask Jesus to be your king and savior. Believe in your heart that he died on the cross and rose from the dead and confess it with your mouth. That's all you have to do. Then you get baptized. That's where you go underwater and you come up. And what that is, is it's kind of like a football game. When you go to a football game and you're going to play, you wear a jersey to signify what team you're on, right? Well, think of baptism like putting on your jersey for Team Jesus. And you're telling the whole world, I belong to Team Jesus. Guys, I just wanted to tell you the really cool stories that are in Genesis. Why don't you go ask your moms and dads to read Genesis with you? It's a really cool book. You're going to love it. By the way, did you know that the name Genesis means beginning? I know, it's crazy. Anywho, that's what I've got for you. So I hope you guys learned something. And I know you guys miss Miss Jill, but she's just not feeling well tonight. So make sure you say extra prayers for her so she feels better. All right, guys, I'll see you later.